the ability to run a full marathon and then go home and wrestle with your children all day long and play and not feel sore, that is a feeling I wish all people could experience. The, 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 the experience of, of that type of level of fitness, it, it, it sells itself. Uh, if you can ha experience what it's like to feel fit when your body is able to do stuff like that, you don't need a seminar or a pep talk on eating right, sleeping right, drinking right. You know, that, that feeling of fitness, it just sells itself. It's just a, such a wonderful feeling. A few important points that I've learned. Last year, I was talking with someone who said that they ran 50 kilometers. And I thought, wow, that's so far. That's impossible. I'd never be able to run like that. I mean, I could easily run a half marathon, uh, no problem, several times a week. But I didn't, I didn't know how to go longer distances. And then I learned the importance of you have to eat a lot. I mean, it has to be like a, you have to bring a picnic with you. So I learned that if I bring all sorts of juices and, and toast and jam or uh, anything to eat while I'm running or stopping at every store every few kilometers and buying juice and snacks. Uh, potato chips, whatever it takes uh, to get those calories in so that you can keep on running. I've been able every Sunday morning to go out and run a full marathon, no problem. Uh, and every week I've been upping, upping the kilometers. So right now, I, I don't know if you can see this. I just finished my longest run ever in my life. That's uh, 61 kilometers in just over six hours. And I feel fine. I don't feel sore. I don't feel tired. Uh, I think I could easily go for another 10 kilometers. So, I mean, I just feel really good. It's just I was drinking all the juice and potato chips and anything with tons of sugar and some salt, just whatever it takes to get those easy calories in you, jam, toast, um, mangoes, just stopping at all the stores and fruit stands and just eat, 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 eat and keep on running. Uh, that has been what has helped me so much. I'm sure there's like a, a spiritual lesson in there. You can't go the distance unless you get in the calories. You've got to eat, man. You've got to get the bread of life if you want to go the distance. And another really good thing about walking or running or biking long distances is that you can listen to all sorts of podcasts and sermons. So I started out this morning with two hours of Dr. Davidson preaching on investigative judgment. Then I listened to a really long lecture about the uh, ethics of life. And then I listened to, uh, who was that guy? Hans La Rondelle, excellent Adventist uh, uh, scholar, really great points about uh, biblical prophecy. And then I listened to another hour of uh, running techniques and then another hour of, uh, what did I listen to? Oh, Dr. Bernard, Neil Bernard, um, talking about how food, how different foods affect people's hormones. V very interesting, very interesting stuff. So right now I'm covered with sweat, but I, I jumped in a creek and got washed up. Uh, but I'm still covered with sweat. But my inside, my mind is just saturated with t tons and tons of really great ideas and stuff to think about. So if you don't have a regular exercise program, you got to get one. You just got to go out and start and just do what you can do and improve yourself over time. And what, the feeling of fitness, it just sells itself. You don't need to listen to any health talks. Just go out there and get your body in shape. Use what you can. Uh, you know, the best thing I have right now is just running. I don't have a bicycle with me or anything else. So I just run and jump rope and uh, try to eat healthy and it sells itself. The ability to run a full marathon and go home and wrestle with your kids all day long and play and not feel sore, that is a feeling I wish all of you could experience. Have a great day. Another really interesting benefit and reason why I run so much is because I notice I get a lot of ideas. My mind becomes really creative. The majority of the, uh, the ideas uh, for the videos that I have made almost always come from when I'm running. You know, make this video, talk about this topic. So really interesting, really interesting benefits.